Wow. Okay, so if you haven't watched my last video, I announced that I'm going to be hosting a readathon with two wonderful co hosts. I am in charge of the Haunted Mansion Path. So I'm going to start there because those are the books that I will 100% be finishing this month. By this month, I mean October. So let's start with the first one. And this is the book that I'll be reading for the Poe prompt. And that would be Pride and Prejudice. I think that this book really goes with the theme of gothic. I don't, I don't know. It just feels very October for me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the cover that she looks so pensive. I just think that this book will be great to read in the month of October and it is for the Poe prompt because it starts with a P as in Pride and Prejudice. I honestly think I should get double points for that one even though there's no points in this readathon. I'll be finally reading this. I've never read it. I think I started it once when I was like 16 or something and then I never never continued. So the next book that I'm going to be reading for the Eat Your Brains prompt is Percy Jackson and the Titans Curse and if you have read the series you know that Annabeth Chase is completely brainiac level. She is the brainy character. She is a know-it-all. She is the OG so I'll be reading this book for that prompt and I'm really excited. I mentioned in my book of the books that I read over the summer that cured my summertime sadness that reading the Percy Jackson series really gave me a sense of peace and it really helped me over the summer process all the, like the hard emotions I was going through while I was studying for my step so I really wanted to continue the series because I really want to get to the Heroes of Olympus series so then the next book I'm going to be reading and this is going to be the scariest book of all of the books that I have chosen is going to be House of Leaves by Mark Z. Daniel Lozow, Lowowski? Daniel Lewski. A lot of people say this is the scariest book that they've ever read. It is very big. For some reason, I'm shaking. Like, I'm nervous about reading this book. And it's also a mixed media book. So, for example, some of the pages are like this. It's like not a normal book. I don't even know what it's about. I think when people Google it, they don't know what it's about either. It's a very thick book. It's one of those books that you can absolutely someone with it's really weird like there's dialogues there's just like blank pages so it's very strange but i am going to be reading it this month i hope that i can understand it if not i guess that's what reddit's for and then so my goal is actually to fill out the board with books for the month i'll start with the pumpkin patch books that i will be reading and for the pumpkin patch that is sweet treat and then we can get to happily ever after i mentioned in my announcement video that the group book actually fits for happily ever after because it's kind of to do with fairy tale retellings and that would be the school of for good and evil it's a middle grade book it seems really fun it's about to be adopted to a netflix series it's about these two girls that one of them wants to go to the school for good because she thinks that she's like princess material like cinderella rapunzel etc and the other other one is Agatha and she thinks she's villain material and she thinks she's destined for the school for evil and they kind of end up in the opposite schools that they attended. It's kind of them figuring out what's going on more about their history and who they are so I think it's gonna be really exciting and really fun. The next one for a romance that is as sweet as candy I will either apply Pride and Prejudice to this prompt or if I can get myself to read it I will be reading From Blood and Ash finally. I have not read this book. I know that people love this romance. I don't know if it's as sweet as candy i guess like if your candy is a hot tamale then like that would be as sweet as candy <laughs> it is a spicy book it is very much raunchy and very much up my alley this book is about poppy who she's a maiden and she's destined for a romance with the gods and she has a guard called i think it's hawk and they kind of have like a thing going on and things happen and poppy has no intention of leaving her maidenhood intact basically for this god that you don't know and then since the poe prompt overlaps in both the haunted mansion and in the graveyard path i will have already done the poe prompt because that's pride and prejudice and the only thing i'm missing for the graveyard prompt is the creepy crawly prompt so what i'm going to be reading for that is house of hollow this is also a kind of a horror suspense book it has to do with some sisters that disappear and that they reappear and they're completely changed and that's basically all i know it is not a super long book it does have insects on it as you can see there is a bug there which is disgusting there's another bug here disgusting I bought this book literally because I liked the cover. I thought the cover was super intriguing. It spoke to me. I've heard really mixed reviews about it. I've actually not heard anyone say that they loved the book, unfortunately, but it really called to me and it's really short. So I thought it would be a great fit for this prompt. And then the 
prompts that are missing are the movie night prompt and the Casper prompt. So the Casper prompt, I'm actually going to be reading the book that I think I've owned for the longest time and it's a book that I've never read, it is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I've owned this book probably since I was in sixth grade. I think I got it at a scholastic book fair in middle school and I don't know why I never finished it, but this will definitely count for the Casper prompt. Uh, which is the friendly ghost prompt. So if you are wondering what to read for that, this would be it. Also, TJ Klune just came out with Under the Whispering Tree by the time this video comes out, and that book also features a friendly ghost, so feel free to also pick that one up. And then for the movie night prompt, that is another prompt that I'm giving myself a little bit of grace to pick what I want to read and what I can read in the time. So I'm between El Principito or The Little Prince. This is the Spanish version of that book. Oh God, that's horrible. The Reflection of the Ring Light and Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. Both of them have movie adaptations. This is more Halloween-y and this is more not Halloween-y, but it is a shorter book and I think it might be easier for me to read in the time that I have left because I definitely have a couple of chunky books. I like to give myself that little variability in case I feel like I don't think I can finish this one even though oh my god it's really yellowed. I've owned this book also for a very long time and I haven't read it but it's so yellow. So I think I got all the prompts and that's about it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this video gave you any ideas for books to read for the readathon and let me know if you need any more suggestions if you're not interested in these books and I'll do my best to guide you in the right direction. One thing I didn't mention was that we are going to be trying to do movie nights throughout the month, at least three, so we can do one based on the pumpkin patch, maybe one based on the graveyard, and then another one based on the haunted mansion. So let us know if you are interested in that. Let us know if you are interested in a Google Docs so we can get all of the recommendations. And most importantly, I hope that you join us. Thank you so much. The Discord is down below and I'll see you soon. Happy reading. Thank you.